Yo, how's it going, guys? It's Richard Unicorn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. We got a lot of stuff to talk about, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, let's talk a little bit about the update because I've been seeing a lot of things lately, and I don't know. I just kind of let the news kind of speak for itself because some of the stuff kind of sucks. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Blaze Stormcloud mentions how um, there's this uh, bugged spellment path with the, uh, I guess, Dear Knight. Or whenever you reset your Dear Knight spellment, um, you basically lose like all your spellments. And you know, typically when you reset your spellments, you get them all back. And unfortunately, it looks like that. Um, He's having some difficulty trying to get his uh, spellments back. Um, he says, Dear Knight is bugged, meaning when you reset the spellment path, it doesn't give you your spellments back, and support refuses to give me my spellments back. Um, the response says, Thank you for sharing your concerns. Unfortunately, customer support does not currently have a way to address or resolve this issue ourselves. A change like this would have to come from the developers. Our game makers and community manager do take player reports extremely seriously. And so... Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say there. I mean, hopefully he does. Hopefully everybody gets their spellments back because I should have made this video earlier. I was like, yo, don't, don't use the Deer Knight or don't reset your Deer Knight spellment paths because, you know, it's bugged right now. And, you know, that kind of came with this update. And, like, every update we've had so far this year, there's always a catch. You know, there's always a catch. Like, I think the only positive thing I've heard about this update is, you know, the story mode and, uh, you know, the new world, increased level cap and stuff like that, the new spells, and I would say Arc Mastery, but, you know, a lot of people are conflicted about Arc Mastery. I would say some of the spell changes, but a lot of people are conflicted about the spell changes, and some of those things could potentially be part of the little good list of the update, but, um, again, you kind of go into this mix of uh, people having these different opinions and stuff like that, and so it kind of gets confusing on the separate the good from the bad and then the confused, you know, especially for low levels. I know the whole arc mastery thing is all over the place, but yeah, hopefully Blaze and everybody else that resets their Deer Knight spellments does get their spellments back, but if it is true that they don't have a way to kind of give you back those spellments, then I guess it's just an F in the chat because... You know, not only are you wasting your time, but you could potentially be wasting your money from getting spellments from packs and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, we've talked about spellments many times on this channel, and it kind of just gets exhausting. So, moving on, Alex Lionheart mentions <laughs> this is the year we've seen so far. Uh, he's a very passionate player. I actually like him. Uh, gold key is becoming a massive grind. Salvation on spellments becoming grind because of the gold key change. A pity system with crafting removed with the latest gear. You want to join your friends in other guilds for raids? 14 day cooldown. Um, what is the direction? So, um, yeah, what is the direction? I mention that every time in my video. I'm like, I don't know what their game philosophy is. Like, I don't know, like, what they're trying to do, but I guess I just don't see it. But, um, Alex does mention the whole gear thing. If you guys don't know, the new gear crafting, um, in the new world of Novus, um, you have to have basically the same exact, uh, piece of gear. You know, previously we've had this kind of pity system where, you know, it didn't really matter what kind of gear it was, as long as it was kind of, like, correlated or in off-school, you know, you could still, you know, use that in one of the crafting recipes, and it made crafting some of the new gear a little bit easier. But uh, Alex mentions, you know, unlike past worlds where any piece of gear worked toward crafting a better piece of gear, you have to have the exact item all together. And again, that's going to be a bummer for a lot of players because you're going to have to farm not just for any type of gear, but for that specific gear piece, all right? And this is the same exact type of crafting method for um, the raid gear. So let me go over to the crafter. I want to see real quick. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys in the other video. So this is basically where you can upgrade your um raid gear let me see will it allow us to upgrade uh, i'm guessing we have to upgrade the battle crafter again i'm assuming 
But yeah, let's say you wanted to upgrade one of your raid gears as something as a higher level, like level 160. So in order to do that, you're gonna need the balanced conical of the void. Like you're gonna need the same exact gear, right? It can't be anything else. It can't be like the life balance conical of the void. It has to be the same exact gear. And for raids, it's a little iffy because raids are very resourceful and there's a big barrier of entry for raids. So again, I'm not really, I'm personally not a big fan of the whole crafting thing. I mean, I rarely craft in this game, so I really don't care, but I remember somebody in my uh, Discord server mentioned that, oh, they said it was going to be such an easy type of grind. They said it was going to be easy to kind of like upgrade your gear. You know, I, I know, I'm honestly surprised they didn't say like, oh, maybe if you donate like, what, 300 Azoth, then you can upgrade this piece of gear because Azoth has been kind of like, the big standard of raids and guilds and upgrading. So I'm just surprised they just didn't use like an Azoth type of recipe, but um, yeah, they're using Novus recipes and you'll need the same exact gear, so good luck with that and I don't know, it just kind of makes upgrading the raid gear kind of pointless because again, if you don't have that specific school, then I don't know, it's kind of a bummer. So yep, I don't know what's going on there, but we'll just have to wait and see. And then my bestie, Zepha, made this inter- I, This is interesting because I don't know- Well, I don't know if this is actually true or not, but apparently Zepha mentions that if a max level joins a low level fight, their much higher arc mastery rating effectively prevents lower levels from gaining any school pips, even in fights where the enemy has no arc mastery strat. Um, this handicaps low levels when a max level is present. Is this intentional? And I also quote retweeted, I said, like, it's such a bizarre change because, like, what does this specifically, like, what does this do? You know, like, what, and I mentioned this in a couple of update videos. They do these updates and they do so many changes that literally help no one. Like, it, it's such a bizarre feature, like, what exactly does this solve, and what exactly does it do? And Zepha responds, exactly, I don't see what this achieves besides creating animosity where it doesn't need to exist between lower levels and high levels. Stealing their ability to use pip spells as quickly, ally arc mastery stats should not affect your school pip generation rate. Yeah, exactly, so, you know, if that feature is true, and, you know, if you are joining a low level and their arc mastery stat is going to be affected by yours, then to me that just, I don't know, it just seems weird. Like, like what is the re like, what is it supposed to do? Like, I don't know what it's supposed to do or solve. I mean, my arc mastery is pretty much at the uh, full base right here. Um, it's at 120 base because I'm a max level. But for low levels, it's really hard to get the whole arc mastery and the school pip thing. And um, it can be a little bit confusing. And so when you do join a low level and then they don't see the school pips, well, it's kind of like, oh, well, you know, now I don't, now the low levels don't want to quest with the high level. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't make the game, guys. I'm just a messenger. I don't know. But if that is true, like if that actually is true, then that doesn't really make any sense. And, you know, I, I don't know. But whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I just don't understand why it needs to be there. Anyway, let's go into the news. Enough kind of talking about Wiz. Um, more um, winter packs are available, so just go in the crown shop. Um, oh, yeah, we already talked about that. This is a new plushie. It seems like they really are pumping out the plushies. So this is the Urk plushie. Um, this will be available on Makeship. You already know the dealio with that. And over here we have Zero Energy Fishing. That pretty much wraps it up, at least for now, of what I can see on my feed of all the news. Yeah, just just a lot of stuff, man. And again, we talk about that whole spell audit. If you guys don't remember, most of um, all these lore spells require a school pip. So if you are a low level and you have no idea like what Arc Mastery is, then you should really get accustomed to it because you won't be able to actually cast some of these spells without that school pip. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Novus and this update in general because it seems like there's a really big mixed bag of feelings. 
But my name is Richard Unicorn Caller, and I will see you guys later, and peace out.